Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, many students have doubt about uh, what is edge of active region and what is edge of saturation region. So I'll try to give you an idea in this video, short video. And probably this picture will give you a quick uh, idea about what is the edge of active region or edge of saturation region. Okay, now uh, if you mm, go through the characteristics diagram, we know there are three regions. This is the saturation region, this is active region, and this is the uh, cutoff region. So we'll primarily concern about this, and the edge is this this area. This is the edge of end of active region and beginning of saturation region we can say and if you recall uh, the two parameters that define the change you see the base emitter junction is forward bias here and base emitter junction is forward bias here in case of an active region the base collector is reverse bias but in case of a such uh, saturation region the base character is forward bias so that is the difference the moment this base collector junction turns at the end of reverse bias and at the beginning of forward bias that is the point uh, we call edge of active region or edge of uh, saturation region Okay, we'll build this concept with the help of uh, example. So let's see, uh, this is the complete transistor and uh, we can show it by this diagram as well. We have the VBE, we have VCB and we have VCE. Now note that the actual diagram does, does have only two sources. One is the VBB or uh, we can call it this is VBE for, for VBE and then there is another source VCE but we, uh, we do not apply any source between VCB but when we calculate the difference between the two that is VCB so like here you can see uh, if we write the KVA equation we go from here minus VBE minus VCB plus VCE minus VB minus VCB plus VCE or VCB is equal to VCE minus VB. So there is no battery source here but for ease of understanding I have shown it with the battery source so that will make our understanding easier. And we know that VBE is 0.7 volt generally that is taken as constant. Uh, so this voltage here or this voltage here is 0.7 volt. Now to, uh, to understand it further, we'll have, uh, uh, we'll have to assume voltage sources. So let's assume that this voltage source, which is the VCE voltage source, is 2 volt. So what will be the effect of this? From this formula, we can calculate that VCB is 1.7 volt. So this is plus 1.7 volt. So that means this battery uh, is uh, plus. And therefore, we can say that this diode, CB diode, is still reverse bias. And so this is the our diagram of only these two parts. That is the base collector now we have 1.7 volt this is the diode so the diode is reverse bias because we have a positive here and negative here and so we can say that the bjt is in active mode and if we see the uh, characteristics curve for the this diode only then we know this is the uh, reverse region and this is the forward region and diode conducts in this region uh, we are in the reverse region and we are uh, we have 1.7 volt reverse so uh, if we position ourselves with this green arrow so we are somewhere here in this 
uh, characteristic diagram the reverse region now let's reduce this vce to one volt so when vce is one volt vcb will be 0 0.3 and so this is 0 0.3 but it is still making this diode forward bias 0.3 so the uh, sorry reverse bias and uh, therefore the diode is still reverse bias and we can say that the cb diode is a reverse bias therefore bjt is in active mode still and if you see in this diagram we have moved closer to the right hand side but we are somewhere here, 0 0.3 volt. Okay, so we were here. Now let's reduce the VCE to 0 0.7 volt. So this is, we are reducing it to 0 0.7 volt. Therefore, VCB from here will be 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7, so 0 volt. So now there is 0 volt across uh, this uh, PN junction, but still the it, the uh, the diode is reversed bias and we are therefore in active mode and if you now see this diode characteristic diagram we are at this place okay now we go further down we are now reducing this 2.4 volt so when this is 0.4 volt, what will happen to VCB? VCB is 0 0.03 volt. And let's see this diagram. 0 0.03 volt. If you look at this diagram, the diode actually conducts fully at 0.7 volt. It starts conducting after 0 0.04 volt. So before that, that is up to let's say 0 0.3, 5, 0 0.39, there is no conduction in this diode. And therefore we assume still that uh, since diode is not conducting or no current is flowing uh, in this diode and therefore uh, no, no, no forward current is flowing in this diode and therefore it is still in the reverse bias region. So up to 0.3, it is in the reverse bias, and therefore our BJT is still in active mode. And now comes the critical point. When we just raise uh, VCE, uh, sorry, uh, decrease VCE by 0.1, that is we make it 0.3, then what will happen? VCB will be now 0.4 volt. Now the moment this becomes 0.4 volt, what will happen is that we have now reached at this point and where it has started um, current flowing minor current is still not very major current but current has started flowing and therefore this diode is now forward biased so this is the critical point up to point 0.3 it was still in reverse bias but at point 0.4 it has become forward bias and the moment this becomes forward bias then we say that the BJT has reached the saturation mode. So this is uh, uh, the basic uh, understanding that we have to keep in mind that at the edge of active region VCE is 0 0.3 and uh, uh, with this concept let's solve an example which is example uh, exercise 6.6 .6 in the book. I have also solved this in another video but just repeat here. So uh, saying for the circuit, this is the circuit analyzed in example 6.1, find the maximum value of RC that will still result in active mode. So here the RC is three, but we have to find maximum value uh, uh, up to which the circuit will remain in active mode. Okay. This is a formula from here. You can see VCC is ICRC and VCE. And from here we get RC to be VCC minus VC over IC. Now RC maximum will be when VCE is minimum and still in active mode. So we just saw 
that the last limit of VCE to be in active mode is 0.3 volt. So at the edge of active region, VCE is 0.3 volt. So we'll plug in that value here. And plotting in that value, we find RC maximum to be 4.7 kilo ohm. I hope this gives you an understanding about the edge of active mode and edge of saturation mode. Thank you.